We are close to our goal, gentlemen. The device you see before you allows an average citizen's body energy to power a city block. In my hands, that power would be limitless. We need Dr. Watts to finish the device. Only she knows where to find the missing piece. Yeah, plans and speeches are all well and good, but I think you're forgetting about one thing, Spider-Man. I've already prepared for that eventuality. Let me introduce our insurance policy. Enthusiasms, enthusiasms. What a mine. What is it which gives me joy? Destroying Spider-Man. A man stands alone, facing the web slinger. This is the time for what? For individual achievement. But in a mob? Part of a team. Tomorrow night, the good doctor will be attending the science and industry ball. I'm gonna get the doctor myself. But I get nowhere unless the team takes out Spider-Man. Spider-Man! Hammerhead and his thugs have stormed the ball. The people are frightened, and some have even been taken hostage. It looks like Spidey's gonna have his hands full, finding the doctor and keeping everyone safe. Good luck, Webhead! Help me! Oh no, there's someone trapped in that elevator. I'd better find the controls. <laughs> no, please, no! Well, that didn't work. There's gotta be some other way to get him out. I bet this will take me to the controls. I'm really not sure how you could possibly guess that, but maybe your spider sense told you. Let's go with that. Now once we actually get down here, I'm all we can see that the elevator is about to uh, snap. So before we step on the elevator to press the switch, we, we better secure it. And I mean, our webbing is supposed to be as good as a steel cable. There! That should hold the elevator. Now to free the person inside. We could head forward from here, but you might have noticed that an extra web cartridge spawned in the first room after we rescued the guy. So we might as well take advantage. There aren't any more airplanes to rescue, so or airplane pilots rather, so we should be good on webbing for the rest of the game. There are a few more places we need impact webbing, but by the time we have to worry about it again, we'll be at the final boss. As soon as we enter this room, two guys come running at us. Might as well toss a couch at them. Any objects we toss at bad guys will kill them or defeat them in one hit. So that's very useful, but we are vulnerable while we're holding the object. The gangster in the next room is holding people hostage. Spidey says we should be careful, but we can just walk up right behind him since he has his back turned. There are more hostages to rescue in this stage than in the bank stage from Spider-Man 2000. But strangely enough, this is a much easier hostage level than that one. Even though this game is uh, much harder on the average. This is because the gangsters seem more occupied with you than they do with the hostages. That makes sense in context with the story because these guys are only supposed to be trying to get us in the first place. Looks like that's everyone. Now to find the next floor. Unlike the goons at the bank heist, these guys aren't trying to avoid a fight, they're trying to kill us. Big difference there. Priorities are a little bit reversed. It's still a little odd that this level barely encourages any stealth. I suppose the upcoming room does. If you remember those cubicles from the bank heist level, there's something very similar up here. The difference being that these guys aren't nearly as quick to react. See, we just slammed him against a wall and he didn't even try to shoot the hostage. And that's all the hostages that can actually be shot. The rest of them are safe no matter what you do. We just have to find them. 
And this hallway, some guys... Uh, hold on. There we go. And this hallway, some guys pop up out of the sides. You don't want to waste any time attacking them, because if they start hitting you at the same time, that would be bad. Strangely enough, their guns do the least damage of any gun in the game. Their melee attacks hurt decently enough, and they can interrupt your combo unlike most other thugs. But their guns are useless. Spidey was trying to tell us to bust open that wooden door, but we already did before he started monologuing. That's his fault, though. He should have talked faster. They've got hostages inside. The door's locked. We've gotta bust it open. We already did, buddy. You gotta try and be a little quicker on the draw. Time to find Hammerhead. Better start making sense, lady. Zeus says what? Just six of you against one woman? <laughs> that seems a bit unfair. Unless that happens to be Electra, in which case you're toast. Come on. Yeah, come on. What am I paying you fools for? Don't just stand there after her! <laughs> Don't know where you think you're going. I was just gonna see if they had any more of those Empire State Building snow globes. Hey, do you want one? This boss was actually somewhat infamous among people who played the game because they couldn't figure out how to hurt Hammerhead. He blocks all your attacks with his gun. And the trick is, of course, to yank his gun away. And then we have to punch him while he's running for it. As soon as he picks his gun back up, he'll start shooting at us. So we need to run away again. The worst thing you can do is stand between him and his gun before he starts running. Because if you do that, then his run will change into a charge and he'll plow right through you. Easy there, fella. I can see my house from here. We're just gonna hop back inside where we have more room to move around and there's not a helicopter on our ass. And Hammerhead charges straight into the wall like an idiot. All we gotta do is yank his gun away one more time and that should be it for him. It's a reasonably easy boss, just do not stand between him and his gun. That holds him, because there's still a damsel in distress that needs rescuing. What the? Maybe that woman was Electra. What's this? First Hammerhead, and now Sandman's back. And what do they want with the doctor? I know she works at Biotech. I've seen her there with Connors before. Maybe he knows what this is all about. Come on, Doc. Oh, boy, it sounds like Connors is in some real trouble. I really need to limit myself to one rescue a day.